Hi there guys, it's Andrea and yeah, I got an OP sort of equipment, which is a really small microphone, but it serves its purpose, I think, for in terms of sound, it should be better. Uh, I'll just leave it here, because I like my hands free. Uh, so I might as well use this chance to give you an inside sort of story on how I got into, well, cosplay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a journey. Seriously, guys, it's been a journey from really bad costumes and really bad mistakes to the point where I actually made one which I'm immensely proud of and since this is most likely going out today so I'm gonna do an update on that costume I am super proud of that one I put a lot of effort in it I learned I mastered a completely new skill that I had no idea I had but just to go back to uh, how I got into cosplay and why. Uh, for starters, I've been following TikTok, trying to figure out where does Nemesis Black, Flair, Black Slayer uh, fit in uh, with, you know, the TikTok society. You know, is it for the horror? Is it for the book talk? Is it somewhere in between? Is it for the goofy videos? Which clearly not, but hey you can look into it, try to find your way of humor into it. So, uh, yeah, I've been looking through that, and yeah, I found that plenty of people do cosplays of their own characters, so I decided to give it a go, which essentially happened at Freecon last year, when I just pulled out the first possible thing I had in my closet that I could qualify as cosplay, uh, hoping that people would recognize it. And this is that costume right there. So I kind of went for that and people recognized the co that I'm a cosplayer, which was kind of a new thing to say. I was, I, re I, remember, I remember going back to Zagreb thinking, I mean, oh my God, they recognize me as a cosplayer, which was something I did, I was honestly, told my entire life that my destroying of things and remaking into something else is childish, stupid, and will lead me absolutely nowhere, which is, by the way, wrong. So it kind of felt like it opened up this entire chapter in my life. Uh, and I kind of figured, why not give it a shot and just make, bring kind of this vision of Nemesis Black Slayer in my head into reality. I mean, I already have the hair. I mean, to some extent, it should fit her color. Uh, I had... I'm essentially going... At that point, I was already losing weight rapidly, so I started to actually have some body form, which I could feel comfortable presenting in more than a um, flowy dress. And yeah, I went to Dragon first and then I got recognized there. Following that, I saw my mistakes. I saw what other people do, thinking at first, I mean, how do they do it? I mean, what, what's that, what's that magic? I mean, what kind of sorcery is this, essentially? Uh, and I started working on lessons, YouTube videos, uh, learning from people uh, from all over the world just trying to figure out a way to bring the first original idea into, well, the, in the real life. This is the result. It's not the best costume, let's be clear. This is not the best costume I've ever made. It did serve its purpose. I was hasty with that uh, on my first cosplay competition. Uh, it didn't end well. Let's just say there was picture, but there was no sound, and let's just keep it at that. In addition, that it was my first going out on stage alone with this huge fear inside me and memory of how it felt when I was a little girl and the entire audience just burst into laughter when I walked on. So it was this struggle and some of it is my part, partly, yeah, and yes, some, of, some of the blame is mine, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, the technical department could have done better. Uh, hopefully they won't mess it up the next year when I'm going again. <laughs> uh, so 
following that, I was in a state of whether to continue the cosplay thing or, I mean, cosplay seriously, or just try a different route. I kind of felt that I can do more. I can give more in cosplay. I can do more in terms of costumes. And I wasn't wrong. Uh, I knew myself well enough and I met a good friend who had uh, the stand with figurines and we kind of connected and he's a cosplayer too. So he gave me some really good advice, which is by the way, thank you to him, where I started getting better at it. Until the point where I actually finally completed my first full-on custom cosplay which is uh, voila this this is uh essential nemesis black slayer in again not full scale armor as i envisioned it uh, but it's getting there so this is my second project i finished it uh, i was thrilled and it actually won me an award for Best Novice Cosplay at, at Labyrinthicon last this year. Um, so yeah, I've been growing, I've been learning, much like the writing thing. And now we're getting to the last part of this year's cosplay season, uh, which is... I made this two days ago, I think it was two days ago, I've made myself an actual crown as a crowning achievement for not only surviving con season whoa <laughs> it's heavy yeah for not only surviving the con season of 2022 with fairly fairly not cross too much budget <laughs> but also making my first pop culture, uh, my first pop culture, let's just say, costume, which will be revealed on Saturday, when is my last cosplay competition. I am, for this year, I'm still planning to compete. I just got the bug. It's not going away that fast. Uh, I've, I've just found the joy in making it. You know, just the the rush when you get when you get on the stage, it just got me. You know, I, I enjoy cosplay. Uh, it also made my TikToks better. I finally figured out where to put Nemesis Black Slayer on the TikTok market. I, it's been a journey of self discovery where people who used to tell me that uh, what I do was wrong, that I'm only destroying things, kind of turns out to be my best trait. And it's kind of like writing, actually. And the cosplay thing turned out to be kind of like writing. Uh, it started with, look, I'm gonna, I'm, I love doing this, so I might as well continue. And people telling me that it's a bunch of rubbish, that I'm wasting my life, wasting my time and that it's not gonna get me anywhere. Well, uh, I'm sorry, but I wanna have to prove all those people wrong by saying that not only does it take me places, it opened up this whole new world of joy, entertainment, and self-love for skills I have. So yeah, that's sort of my cosplay journey. I'll let you know how this weekend goes. I'm looking forward to the competition. I still do have to put on the costume and actually apply for the competition, but that's a cosplay thing. You do everything in the last minute. I certainly hope I will get it done today. Uh, I'll be, you know, keeping up, keeping you posted, perhaps make some mixed videos of how it actually looks like. And if you're interested, I can also start making, you know, how it's done videos or the whole process of making it. I had this idea, but I kind of figured out that uh, there's not much point in making it for an audience that never asked for it or never seen the end result. I mean, if you really want to see how this entire thing or the other costumes I made uh, get into this state they are and how I make them, Please feel free to like, share, or like, share, <laughs> share by all means. Uh, just let me know if you would like any more of that con type of content. I will be happy to film it, share it with you, 
in any possible way when, uh, well, as soon as I get home, <laughs> since this is the end of the cosplay season. I can't, do have to point out one thing, I cannot promise any videos prior to January, January, <laughs> uh, January 2023, I might be doing some cosplay projects, sort of like the crowns and everything, but I can't promise the full on scale production uh, simply because uh, I'm a writer first. I have to kind of put myself back into finishing book number two, hopefully throwing book number three out, so that next year when con season comes along, I can not only upgrade the costumes and make more, so I can have something to show other than my costume making skills. Um, I will try, but you do have to tell me if you would like that type of content more, so I can perhaps tell you how I make half of this stuff or all of this stuff, so uh, feel free to let me know in the comments, and yeah, as always, subscribe, follow, share, buy the book, it's on Amazon, if you would like to know more about the book, of course. And uh, yeah, just stay in touch and I will see you soon. It's time for a break and yeah, see you soon guys. Not trying to be in me, not trying to be cool, just trying to be.